Hi, my name is Dana Cummins. I am from Sunnyside, Queens, and as an artist, I am a performer, a writer, an architect, uh, all around just a creator of worlds, of thoughts, of experiences, and I really, really like just putting together a bunch of culminations of experiences and writing about them. As an artist, I've noticed a lot lately in the past few decades that things like Pan's Labyrinth or David Bowie's Labyrinth or all of those 80s and 90s movies that had really dark things about them have been disappearing in our media. And I think that's a real shame um, because those movies and and books brought something to our culture and to the darkness in our minds and our experiences that we all have, that people have been shying away from in the past 10, 15 years. And I'd like to bring that kind of thing back because it's part of the human experience. As a performer, one of my best skills is probably either my improvisation or my ability to take something and just be able to go with that note. Um, I found that I can do like several different takes of the same monologue and it could sound purely different each time depending on how I think the character is in that scenario. Um, and that actually meant a lot in my, the, my acting training meant a lot to how I began to write my play because as an actor, being able to write actual people and their lives is extremely important. Oh, wow, I think role play is extremely useful to acting. And I actually believe that in the two years of COVID when we were online and we weren't able to act in each other face to face, do, being able to do Dungeons and Dragons and do that role play and hear other people's voices and how they sound and making sure that you understand how they feel even if you can't be there with them, extremely helped me and my acting process. I would love to be on those criminal law shows like Law and Order. Um, SVU is actually taking up a couple of streets a couple blocks away from me in, uh, in a couple days. Um, and they're gonna be filming for a couple of days, so I'm gonna be there like standing by the sidelines like, hi, do you need an extra? Uh, <laughs> uh, they probably will say no, but I love the thought of being able to, again, be a part of those human experiences. Think criminal shows like Law and Order, um, even Chicago Fire, those kind of things tell the stories of first responders and people who are so important to our daily lives that sometimes they just don't get the credit that they, that they should get for. Um, other than those TV shows, I hope to be in horror movies. I would like to be in animated films. If not Disney, then perhaps Universal Studios. And if I was a character on a Broadway play in the next five years, it would probably be Zoe from Dear Evan Hansen. I could definitely play a young high school girl who is in mourning. <laughs> My secret, one of them, is that in high school, I was actually part of a summer curriculum for a circus theater um, to learn how to do things like uh, walking on stilts and juggling and all that kind of thing. And I was actually really good at using hoops and one-handedly tossing hoops back and forth with a partner. And I got into like five hoops and we were just doing it at full speed in front of the entire rest of the, uh, I guess, audience at that time. It was really fun.